here it is, the 7th of February at 12.30. And the other day, I wasn't in this area, but where I was at, I scared a couple deer. Well, I seen some deer. I didn't scare. I was way, I was way over there on that ridge and some deer ran out of here and uh, I believe that was Monday so I just stayed out of here but believe it or not there's a shed laying right out here in front of me and I'll tell you what I could have walked by that at any given time it just amazes me this is what makes shed hunting so much fun to the point. Yeah, let me. I gotta get my waypoint here. Should be a shed laying right out here, and I was just dumbfounded that I seen it. And here's how close I am. 14 yards. 14 yards from that guy, and he he looks. Pretty well faded out with that sun, and the wind, the wind would be coming over the top of this, and this is facing, if I turn around, we're facing straight southeast. So with the northwest winds that we had, but this one's been here quite a while, that just amazes me that I even seen it. Well, first human hand. Oh, I got a little chew on it. I'm glad I got it out of here. I was say, got. <laughs> That's a nice shed. Well, now I got to look for the other one. So I'll start circling around here, get my tape up, and. Uh, start circling for the other one. Uh, you remember the last time we did this? <laughs> we found the other one 260 yards away. But you want to bring supplies with you too. L liquid, food. That way you get hungry. You know, I got my hydration there with my tea and these little snacks here. That way you can stay in the woods and you're not wanting something. So I guess we'll get on down the trail, start looking for the other one. Now you can see that orange tape, hopefully, blowing in the background back there. I don't know. I want to pick it up. There it is. And we're at least we're right at 100 yards from that. So, uh, that's the purpose of that tape. Keep you to knowing where you're at in the woods. Well, thank God for a cloudy day. Because I'm going to turn around here. Uh, let me see. The tape should be blowing in the wind down there. There it is. You can see it between those two trees. I got a little inch in the way. There, now you can see it real good back there. Anyway, right here where my gloves are and my walking stick, I found a New shed, southeast facing slope out of that hard north wind when it was 48 below. And there's a mediocre trail through here that leads back to that, but here's how close we were to the new shed. One, two, three, 20, 21, 21 yards. 
21 yards. And that's the right side. And I'll be damned if I can remember what the other side was. But if I stand right here on that shed, right up through there, should be able to see the red flagging up there. Well, now I gotta go up there. This has got some chew on it too. This looks like the same age structure as the one. And this is the right side. Boy, that's a nice buck. That could be the other side. Let's go up here and see what we got. Cut this off in a straight line. See how far away that was. One, two, three, 71, 72, 73, 74. That's right at 75 yards away. And you know, this is the left side. We may have a match. We may have a match. We'll go back and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd say we got a match set. Uh, this one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. They're both color, same coloration. They've been there. The sun's on the slope. The sun on the slope faded them out. This has got some two more coming up from the squirrel. Yeah, there ain't no. You can see both of the bases are the same. Same color, same faded out. Yep, second match of the year. But to be able to find matching sets, two of them now this year, is phenomenal. And I haven't been in this wooded area since clear back in July at least. And uh, the deer just owned this. But we were lucky we got this one before it got chewed off. I'm not going to brag, but I know that's a matching set. They got funky burrs and everything just like it, 70 yards away. And uh, it's just amazing. Second match set of the year, 2024, February 7th. There it is. I documented the time I found the first one. And actually, this one would have been about 12.50 because it took me seven minutes to go up there and get that other one at least. So, thank you Lord, divine intervention. The Lord leads me to these. Uh, don't think you have any pro staff ideology on how to find them. But the only pro staff advice I could give you, and I ain't no pro staff person, I'm just the non-typical Norwalkian. Southeast slope, north. This the wind. The wind is coming out of the northwest, right over that hill. They're laying midway, so they could smell anything coming over. Plus, they're getting it, the heat of the sun, and this hill would have melt, melted off really fast. I, I hope you learned something by having a piece of flagging tape with you. That way you could stay in the area, and there we were, 80 yards apart. And once again, divine intervention. Sun's not out, but the Lord was by my side. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to show you a little reference point. And I'm going to take you down and show you something. 
And that way, the following year or whatever, maybe the same time this year, you'll know you walk through here. We're gonna leave just a smidgen of that tape tied on there. It can't come off. I'll tear it off here. Now you see, you don't have to leave much, but that'll, I wanna show you, it'll give you some history and whereabouts you might look. You know, we'll go down here and I wanna show you. I believe this deer was really a non-typical, had a drop time came over its face. I mean, the whole main beam came over its face. Yeah, the whole main beam had one main antler came down and I found that matching set in March. I found one earlier, then I found the other side in the, uh, about the middle of March. So uh, I want to take you down and show you what happens when you leave that little flag there. A safety factor. When you're putting these sheds in your backpack, make sure you have the tines facing to the back and the curve facing to your back. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you want to make sure you don't put, you put this in there this way, like this, like this, so those times if you fell down, the smooth part would be at your back. You don't want them in there like that, because then you could, well, you could have a real bad day in a hurry. You know, in the spirit of Aldo Leopold and Lee Gladfelder, both those men had a hand in making these deer available for the people of Iowa. And Aldo Leopold did a lot for the people in Wisconsin, the sands of Alamaki County. I'll read up on your history and uh, but I say, that one, I'm glad I got that because uh, I'm going to put some Bondo in there just to put that back. It, it's not a no contest, it's my antler. So, anyway, but make sure when you put them in your pack, you put them with the points facing away from your back. Yeah, there's our red flag that we found today, and we're going to go straight down this hill. I'm going to show you what where an antler was a few years ago. The strangest antler I ever found in my life. And that was the greatest reward. So let's head down. And you can find, I can still have the tree marked. And uh, that way it just gives you an uplift. Now we're going straight east right now. So, uh, if you have an easterner blowing in, you, this hill going to be full, but the nice thing about it is the deer lay on this side to keep warm, and the sun shines directly on them. Matter of fact, you can see how it's up there. It's all clouded up, but it, a week or two ago, it was more direct right on this slope. So we're getting down here. We're not that far away from where our little tape is that we just left. And I want to I want to show you this just so you uh, can build confidence when you're hunting that you know you found antlers in that area before. So, uh, and like I said, I found the most unique antler in my life down here. I was totally blown away by what I found off this hill. And uh, it was just, and the documentation of where I found, I found the other matching set up on the food plot. That was pretty easy back then. I think it was, it was probably three years ago. And uh, time flies by. I didn't have, had a bad year last year. Didn't find nothing. Oh, anyhow. I found one matching set, and <laughs> that was in April when I was starting to mow. <laughs> so we'll get down here and find this tree. I guess it's over this way, but it's all downhill. 
And there it is. I believe that was like 2000, yeah, I'm gonna say 2018. And that little piece of orange flag is that antler was right here at the base of this tree when I found it. And uh, that was the neatest set that I ever found. I see that gives you a reference point and it don't hurt the little stick or nothing. And the one, the first match set we found today was up over that hill. Just a little, you know, inspiration.